All right, so we're still discussing limits and um, we're using tutorial questions um, to understand uh, limits. Yeah, we're using tutorial questions as a guidance. All right, so if uh, anyone wants to join these online lessons, they can contact me using any of these uh, lines on the screen. Yeah, so these are my contacts. Okay, so this is question three from your tutorial sheet. Let's uh, see how we can solve this question. So the question is, uh, the question is given the limit of f of x. So we've been given the limit of f of x. Yeah, so we've been given the limit of f of x. This one here, the limit of f of x as x is approaching 12 is simply just two. And then we've also been given the limit of g of x as x is approaching 12 as six. Then we also have another limit that has been given there. And then we have equation. Um, yeah, so we've, been, we've also been given the limit of h of x as x is approaching 12 as nine. And then the question is compute the following limits. So we've been given these questions. So this is a very simple question and I believe we're not going to spend a lot of time solving this question. It's a very simple question. So one thing you have to understand is when you're adding two um, functions, then you've been asked to find the limit of those, um, of the solution of the, what is of the function. Okay, let me, let me give you an example here. Let me be writing what I'm trying to talk about. Now, so for instance, we have, I think there's, there's no need of me explaining that, but let me just use these same uh, uh, examples that you've been given. So the first one is asking us to find the limit of h of x multiplying f of x, then we say plus one plus g of x over, so we, then covers even one over g of x. Then we close it like that. So we have the limit of this as x is approaching what? 12. So now how do you find the solution of this? So one thing you have to understand is that if you have been given h of x, I mean the limit of h of x as x is approaching 12 and f of x as x is approaching 12, what you just need to do is to replace the solutions that you've been given there. Or let me follow this question, or let me show you the steps or what you're supposed to do. So here, when you open the brackets, you're going to have the limit of h of x alone there. So I have the limit of h of x as x is approaching 12. Yeah, so this will be alone. According to the question, it's multiplying with f, the, with f of x there. So we distribute the limit to all the terms that we have in this um, in these brackets. So we also have another set here, which is going to have the limit of f of x as x is approaching 12. Then we say plus, I'm writing this plus here. So it's a plus um, the limit of one as x is approaching what, 12. Then we also have plus the limit of g of x as x is approaching 12. And then everything over the limit of g of x as x is approaching 12. So this is what we have. So when you check the first part here, this has been given in the question and it has been given to be two. So let me just point at the, the two I'm talking about. Now, so the limit of h of x as x, oh, sorry, it's not two, it's here, it's nine. So the limit of h of x as x is approaching 12 has been given to be what? To be nine. So we just replace this part with what? With nine. Same applies to the limit of f of x as x is approaching 12 has also been given to be two. Then the limit of g of x as x is approaching uh, 12 has been given to be what? To be six. So we just replace the respective numbers in the in their positions there. So the other thing that we need to put in mind is that 
every time you find the limit of a constant, the answer is simply just that same constant. So what I mean is that the limit, okay, let me just do this. Yeah, so in other words, I'm trying to say the limit of one, the answer is one. So the limit of any constant, okay, as X is approaching any number A is always what? Okay. So if they ask you to find the limit of two, when X is approaching five, the answer is what? Two. This is what it means. Okay. So let us now replace the numbers that have been given there. So we have this part here, which is the limit of h of x as x is approaching 12, and it has been given as what? As nine. So we have nine. Then we're multiplying this nine with the limit of f of x as x is approaching 12, and that has been given as two. Then we have plus the limit of one. One is a constant, but as x is approaching 12, the answer will still be what? One. Then we say plus the limit of g of x as x is approaching 12, the answer is what? It's six. So we're putting six there. Then we say over. Then this one is also what? Six, because uh, the limit of g of x as x is approaching 12 has also been given as six. So we also put six there. So here's just a matter of simplifying. Nine times two, we get 18. Then we have plus one plus seven, one plus six there, we're getting seven over six. So this is, um, this is a fraction that everyone can solve. So you find the common denominator, which is six, one into six, the answer is, um, so we have one into six, the answer is six, six times 18. Yeah, so you're not allowed to use calculators. So you can simply just uh, multiply it on a separate paper like this, you say 18 times six there, so eight, times six, that's 48, you write eight, remember, remember four. Then four times, uh, rather six times one, the answer is six plus four, that is 10. So we have one zero eight, so we have one zero eight, then we say plus six into six, one, one times seven, is seven. So you simplify this, you have one zero eight plus seven, the answer is 115. So we have 115 over, um, over six. So if you can reduce this further, you can, do, you can go ahead and reduce it. Yeah, so this is how simple this question is. Let's quickly do the second part. So the second part is asking us to find the limit of uh, f of x plus one over three times g of x uh, minus two h of x. So here they are trying to uh, test us on the on the versus on the what do you call that the multiples of um, a limit yeah so, so we have the limit of f of x plus one everything over three g of x minus two h of x as x is approaching twelve. So I've been asked to find this. So this one, when you distribute the limit um, following the steps that I did on the first question, you discover that on top there, you have the limit of f of x as x is approaching what? 12 plus the limit of one as x is approaching 12, everything over. This three is a multiple, so we can just remove it. So it's, it's, it's a constant, so if you want, you can uh, remove it outside and then put the limit of g of x as x is, is, is approaching what? 12. And then minus, we also remove to outside. We say the limit of um, h of x as x is approaching what? 12. So here's just a matter of replacing. The limit of f of x as x is approaching 12 has been given to be 2. Then the limit of one, which is just a constant, one is a constant. So uh, the limit of any constant as X is approaching any number, the answer is that same constant. So we have one there. Then we say over, everything over. This is three times the limit of G of X. So G of X has been given to, uh, to be six. So we have three times six. Then we also have 
and then we say uh, minus two, then open brackets, uh, the limit of um, h of x. So h of x is, the limit of h of x as x is approaching 12 is given to be nine. So here we just have to simplify two plus one, that gives us three. Then down here we have three times six, that's 18. Then two times nine there, the answer is also what? 18, so we say minus 18. So when you check this, this will be three over zero and three over zero, any number divided by zero is undefined. So this implies that this limit does not exist or it has no solutions. We do the same to the last part, which is part C. So for part C, we do the same. So we just distribute the limit there. So we have the limit of three as X is approaching 12 and minus the limit of F of X as X is approaching 12. Yeah, so we have that. And then we put everything in brackets according to the question. And then we also have, this is multiplying with the limit of one as X is approaching 12 plus two limit of G of X as X is approaching two. So it's just a matter of replacing the figures there. So three is a constant. The limit of any constant as X is approaching any number, the answer is that same constant. So we have three there. Then we say minus the limit of F of X as X is approaching uh, 12 has been given. And this one is, uh, two, uh, yeah, it's two. So we put two there. So we're going to put this in brackets and then we open another set of brackets. So we find the limit of one as X is approaching uh, 12. One is a constant, so we have one there. Then from there, we can also find the limit of, um, so we have two there. And then we find the limit of G of X as X is approaching 12. The answer is what? So the limit of G of X, so we have six there. So we can change the types of brackets, the type of brackets there, we put the square brackets because we have um, small brackets inside there. Okay, so three minus two, the answer is one, open brackets. We have one, two times six, that is 12. Okay, so one plus 12, the answer is 13. So we have one times 13, then the answer gives us what? 13. Hence the solution of this limit, which is on part C, is simply just 13. Okay. So this is how basically you solve such questions. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to ask before we proceed to another question. Okay. All right, so we move on to another question. 